Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Sunny. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, I want to take a moment and let you know what you can expect to find. I'll be making guides, gameplay, and reviews for all your gaming needs. Now on the agenda for today, I've decided that it would be a great time to discuss Monster Hunter World with the upcoming release of Iceborne for PC in January 2020. Of course, if you enjoy this video and find it entertaining or helpful, like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my reviews. With that being said, let's jump right into it. We'll start with a little bit of background knowledge. Monster Hunter World is an action RPG developed and published by Capcom. It was released worldwide for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in January 2018, with a PC version in August of 2018. The game places you in the role of a hunter, tasked to hunt down and either kill or capture monsters that roam in a variety of locations in each unique map, as means to help the research team understand the new continent. If successful, then you'll be rewarded through loot consisting of parts from the monster and other elements that are used to craft weapons, armor, mantles, and consumables along with other unique items in the game. The game's core loop is both simplistic and satisfying, having you craft appropriate gear to be able to hunt down more difficult monsters, which in turn provides you parts that lead to more powerful gear. This is true for all of the other Monster Hunter games that have been around since the first game was released on PlayStation 2 in 2004. With that out of the way, we'll go ahead and jump into the pros. Monster Hunter World is an immersive RPG experience with gorgeous and stunning visuals and a gameplay loop that'll keep you going for hours on end. One of the aspects of the game that really lends itself to the overall style and really helps with that sense of immersion is that monsters interact with one another, often getting into turf wars over their territory and duking it out. Although this can be a bit annoying sometimes when you're trying to hunt a certain monster and you have another one coming to rain on your parade, it can be easily managed by just flinging some dung at it and making it turn tail and run away. The story is fairly decent and should only take an average player about 20 hours to finish. When I was playing the story, I never really found myself to be bored with the progression. In fact, more often than not, I couldn't wait to get to the next hunt. The combat is fluid with easy to grasp mechanics, and there are 14 weapons at your disposal, each of which with their own unique characteristics and attacks. Each weapon comes with a variety of combos and lends to their overall playstyle. I personally enjoyed using the Great Sword with its slow and powerful attacks, capable of chopping off monster parts with ease. But some people may prefer a weapon such as the Insect Glaive with its fast attacks and high mobility, and the ability to mount monsters easily. That's one of the great things about the game. You can play however you seem fit. There is no right or wrong way to do it. If you enjoy a particular kind of playstyle, I'm sure that you'll be able to find something that scratches that itch. There are currently 31 large monsters in the game with 17 smaller ones as well, allowing for a ton of discovery. The crafting system is also very good. It is fairly simple and doesn't require too much effort to understand. However, there is enough of it to not make it feel shallow or boring. Another awesome aspect of the game is the cameos from other Capcom titles such as Final Fantasy, Devil May Cry, and even The Witcher. The multiplayer system later in the game is absolutely awesome. You can simply put out an SOS flare and randoms can fill in your party, or you can join public lobbies to find people to play with. There's only one real issue with the multiplayer and we'll touch on that in just a moment. I also believe that the difficulties of the hunts are great. It often feels rewarding when you finally manage to take down the big baddie. Overall I would say that Monster Hunter World is a fantastic addition to the franchise and I am certainly glad that I got the opportunity to play through the game. If you're looking into purchasing the base game, be sure to check the Steam page because with the addition of Iceborne coming, it is often on sale. With that being said, we'll have even more to do when Iceborne finally does release on PC, with a new story, new monsters, a new map, and even new mechanics. We'll have to wait for January to come to see how it all plays out on PC, however if you own a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you can purchase the base game and Iceborne right now. I'll leave a link to the Steam page and their official website in the description below. So now we'll go over some of the cons. I'd say the biggest and most glaring issue is the multiplayer in the story mode. When playing the story mode, you are not allowed to play with someone else who has not seen the cutscene for the mission that you are in. This makes it frustrating for first timers to try and play the story mode together. It has been said by the developers that this is intended, however I believe that this makes the story a bit awkward to play with other people. Apparently the same will be true for the new Iceborne story that will be available. I'm not sure what the intention of this mechanic is to be entirely honest, but it would have been nice to be able to play with my partner without having to play to the cutscene and then one of us leave the mission and join the other person. I think that this can be a bit of a turnoff for newer players that are trying to go through the story with their friends and find out that it'd be easier to do it solo. If you're someone that intends to mostly play by yourself, then this won't affect you at all. Another small issue is that after a while, the repetition began to get a little stale. Don't get me wrong, I knew going into the game that it would be grindy. That's the whole idea behind it. You grind out monster parts to upgrade your stuff to take on bigger and scarier monsters, which is fine. Something that added on to that was the lack of variety in low to high rank monsters, requiring you to fight higher difficulty versions of the same monsters that you fought at low rank to get better gear. And this is a bit of nitpicking, but it did bother me. With that being said, playing with friends can help to ease the monotony of the game. 
There is also a lack of customization for players early on, at least as far as changing the look of your armor. It is quite common for you to mismatch armor sets to get particular upgrades, causing you to look, well, ridiculous. I think that it would be neat if you were able to obtain low rank layered armor, allowing you to have more control over the way you look, even if that meant that you had to purchase the low rank layered armor from a vendor in town. Later in the game, this isn't nearly as much of an issue with all the layered armor sets that you can get from missions and events, although some of them can be a real pain to get and often require require grinding the same monster over and over to get tickets if RNG Jesus doesn't bestow you with the good drops. My biggest complaint later on in the game is trying to upgrade your weapons. Each weapon requires a specific streamstone and it is incredibly tedious to gather them. Again, it is highly reliant on RNG and can feel a bit annoying to grind out the same monsters over and over just to get a drop for a specific weapon. In conclusion, I think Monster Hunter World is definitely worth the purchase if you're into this style of game. Despite the repetition, the visuals and fluidity of the combat really help to hide it and make the game feel good to play. The story is engaging and there is a decent variety of monsters, however, I'll be glad to see some new ones with the introduction of Iceborne. If you ever find this product on sale for half off or more, definitely pick it up, and if you don't have the patience to do so, I would say that it's even worth full price. Thank you all so much for stopping by and listening to my review of Monster Hunter World. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, as this does help me out a ton. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or join our Discord, you can do so in the description below. If you have any suggestions on games for me to review, leave a comment, and I will certainly look into it. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you on the next one.